Accra versus Kampala, which is more developed. Accra is Ghana's capital and largest city, situated on the country's southern coast on the Atlantic Ocean's Gulf of Guinea. Accra has a land area of 225.67 kilometers square and a population of 4.2 million people in 2020. It is divided into 12 local government districts, 11 municipal districts, and the Accra Metropolitan District, which is the capital's only district with city status. The term Accra normally refers to the Accra Metropolitan Area, which serves as Ghana's capital with the city of Accra distinguishing the district under the jurisdiction of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly from the remainder of the city. However, in everyday speech, the phrases Accra and City of Accra are interchangeable. Accra is the economic and administrative center of the Greater Accra region, as well as the anchor of the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area G and M A, which has a population of roughly 4 million people making it Africa's 13th largest metropolitan area. Accra was certified as a gamma-level global metropolis by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network Think Tank in 2020, suggesting a growing level of worldwide impact and connectedness. Kampala, on the other hand, is Uganda's capital and largest city. Kampala Central Division, Comp Division, Makindai Division, Nakawa Division, and Rubaga Division are the five political divisions that make up the city proper, which has a population of 1,680,000 people. The city of Kampala, as well as the surrounding districts of Wakaizo, Mukono, Npigi, Buikwi, and Luwiro, make up Kampala's metropolitan region. It has a rapidly rising population, with the Uganda Bureau of Statistics estimating 6,709,900 inhabitants in 2019 in an area of 3,263.3 square miles. According to Chuantam Wanga Al, this metropolitan region generated an estimated nominal GDP of 13.80221 billion US dollars in 2011 which was more than half of Uganda's GDP for that year, demonstrating Kampala's economic importance. According to city mayors, Kampala is one of Africa's fastest growing cities with an annual population growth rate of 4.03%. Kampala has consistently scored as East Africa's greatest city to live in ahead of Nairobi and Kigali, according to Mercer, a New York-based consulting business. Welcome to another day on our channel. In this video, we will be comparing two capital cities of different countries based on factors like their economies, infrastructure, manufacturing, tourism, sectors, and also standard of living in order to ascertain which is more developed. Join us as we make this startling difference. Economy of Accra. Between 2015 and 2020, Accra was estimated to account for 34 to 39 percent of Ghana's economy. Accra's economic production per person was three times that of Ghana's national average in terms of GDP per capita. The services sector contributes the most to Accra's GDP, accounting for 63 percent on average, while the manufacturing industry contributed 20.5 percent. Accra has a diverse and wealthy resource base which includes digital technology goods production and exportation, automotive and shipbuilding and exportation, and the exportation of various and rich resources like hydrocarbons and industrial minerals. Ghana now has one of the highest GDP per capita in West Africa as a result of these factors. Ghana became the world's fastest growing economy in 2011 as a result of a GDP rebasement. Economy of Kampala Kampala City is Uganda's cash cow, with the central division alone accounting for about 80% of the entire money collected from the city. Amos Ingwamoya investigates how each division contributes to income and how people in those divisions respond to paying taxes. Kampala accounts for over 60% of Uganda's gross domestic product, indicating that it is the country's economic hub. It also employs 80% of Uganda's industrial workforce. Kampala's control was returned to the central government in 2011, 
and the Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA, was established as a result of the KCCA Act, which was passed by Parliament in 2010. The main goal was to turn the city into a better economy by implementing new governance structures and making it more administrative than political. Unlike during the Kampala City Council, KCC, era, when many questions were made about revenue management and inadequate service delivery in the city, this has enhanced revenue collection and thus supply of services to city people. Infrastructural Development Accra Ghana's economy has been growing steadily over the last two decades, with gains in practically every industry. Poverty levels have fallen to 24.3%, a 4.2 percentage point decrease from the prior figure. Despite these gains, the economy continues to be plagued by gaps in both economic and social infrastructure, which has slowed the rate of acceleration in the economy. Kampala. The economic expansion and administration of Uganda's capital city Kampala were critical to the country's prosperity. Since the 1980s, the World Bank has been involved in Uganda's urban sector awarding Kampala a $33 million loan in 2007 for institutional changes and infrastructural development. Despite this, just 30% of the project was finished before the deadline in 2010. The World Bank threatened to withhold funding due to the delays and its distrust of a new, inexperienced administration. Judith Tunusian, working first as a technical consultant and subsequently as deputy executive director of the newly formed Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA, managed to turn the project around in just two years, a near miracle turnaround, thereby making Kampala one of the biggest cities with high rates of infrastructural development. Manufacturing, Accra, Ghana's industry contributes roughly 24.5% of the country's overall GDP. However, thanks to government industrialization programs, Ghana's industrial output is developing at a 7.8% annual rate, ranking it as the world's 38th fastest growing industrial production. Electronics manufacture, vehicle manufacturing, electric car manufacturing, automotive manufacturing, light manufacturing, Aluminum smelting, food processing, cement, and small commercial shipbuilding are among Ghana's most prominent industrial industries. Because of the high-quality sand available from the Tarkwa mining area, a modest glass-making sector has emerged. In recent years, foreign money has surged. The majority of the products are intended for local use and export. Food and beverage production, textiles, chemicals and pharmaceuticals, and metal and wood processing are among the other sectors. Kampala, agro-processing, food and drinks, household items, building materials, and fast-moving consumer goods dominate Uganda's manufacturing industry. The majority of businesses are small and medium-sized businesses based in Kampala and the central region. Tourism in Accra, Accra is a bustling modern metropolis where the streets smell great foods and the ocean beckons you to chill yourself. From a bustling local cultural scene with everything from traditional song and dance to sophisticated clubs with the newest live music, you'll find all you need. Traditional crafts as well as cutting edge contemporary fashions can be found. The city's Dutch, British, and Danish influences mingle with its West African heritage to create an unforgettable experience. Visit the Ghana National Museum, the Accra Art Center for Artists and Crafts, and the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum. Bojo Beach and Lambati Beach are just two of the several beaches around Accra that provide clear seas and sports such as horseback riding and surfing. Tourism in Kampala. With a population of over 1.2 million people, Kampala is Uganda's largest metropolis and capital. Since 2002, Kampala was built on seven hills. Kasubai Hill, which houses the Kasubai tombs, Mingo Hill, which houses the current Lubiri, Kabaka's palace, and the headquarters of the Buganda Court of Justice and the Lukiko, Buganda's parliament, Biolange, Kibilai Hill, 
which houses the Kibbeline Mosque, Nemiram Hill, which houses the Nemiram Anglican Cathedral, Lubaga Hill, which houses the Rubaga Catholic Cathedral, and was the headquarter of the Mill Hill Mission. It now houses in Sambia Hospital and the ruins of Lugard's Fort. Kampala Hill, also known as Old Kampala, means Hill of the Impala and is where Kampala got its name. The city expanded to include other hills such as Nakasero Hill and Mbuya Hill, resulting in a stunning city. The city hosts a lot of tourist destinations. Cost of Living Accra As in most countries, the cost of living varies greatly depending on location and lifestyle. Accra has the most expensive lodging. Some development organizations provide a $3,000 monthly rent allowance for a house or apartment, but this is insufficient. You can live for less money if you are young, healthy, and adaptable, and do not require the Western way of life. If you don't mind living without air conditioning, without electricity for long periods of the day, in a neighborhood with some noise and dust, without official security, and so on, you can live fairly cheaply. Another option is to live with others. Splitting the rent of a three-bedroom apartment in three equals about $1,200 per month for each of you. Unfortunately, landlords now require a one-year deposit. Furthermore, certain living expenses are exorbitant, for example, energy recently increased by 75%, and you may have to pay to have water trucked to your house during the dry season. Kampala. Uganda is a country that draws foreign visitors because of its low living costs, and the best city to visit is unquestionably Kampala, the capital city where most of the activities take place. Kampala is a city that must provide convenient and quick commute alternatives, as going from work to home can be exhausting, as well as affordable food and utility rates for those earning income abroad and less than ideal living conditions for those earning less than the average. Restaurants in Kampala serve both international and local cuisine, but expect to pay more for international meals. A nice supper for two at one of Kampala's cheapest restaurants costs around $7. The most important piece of advice is to cook your own food if you know what you're doing. Cooking is less expensive than eating out, and it will significantly improve your budget. There are many grocery stores to choose from, but keep in mind that imported goods can be quite expensive. Comparing two countries is always a difficult situation because what works for one person may not work for the other. So we always make it so that you have to decide which city or country is best for you. Accra, I'd say, works its magic on me. How about you? Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please share your experience in the comments section and subscribe for more updates.